Invictus trial uh, recruited from mainly uh, developing countries and the, it compared uh, direct oral anticoagulant rivaroxaban with vitamin K antagonists, mainly warfarin. 85% of patients received warfarin, about 15% received uh, acinocumarol. Now the main results are that uh, patients on BKA had a uh, patients on rivaroxaban had a 25% increase in the primary outcome, which constituted uh, stroke, systemic embolism, myocardial infarction, or death of, of vascular unknown causes. Most of this difference in between the two arms was uh, driven by a difference in mortality. So most of the events were uh, deaths. And most of these deaths were heart failure or sudden deaths. So that is the primary result of the uh, Invictus trial. The other key outcomes that we looked at was uh, ischemic strokes. And ischemic strokes were also reduced in patients who received VKA when compared to patients who received rivaroxaban. Uh, there was no increase in major bleeding uh, between the two arms. In fact, major bleeding was pretty uncommon in the entire trial. There were only 96 major bleeding events, so uh, both the drugs were very safe. Uh, so there was no signal uh, of difference between uh, the two arms in terms of major bleeding. I think the difference in uh, difference between the two arms in, in the Invictus trial was uh, uh, was determined by the effect of VKA in these patients, not by the effect of rivaroxaban. Because the rivaroxaban, uh, if rivaroxaban was uh, doing something bad, then it would have increased uh, uh, bleeding, for example. So it did not do that. So we believe that the difference that we are seeing is because of an effect of the VKA. So I don't think that. Uh, any other direct anticoagulant would have behaved differently in this uh, situation.